and oranges. It uses comedicated gaskets, either 40 or 60 thousandths, that determines the compression ratio. The 203 camshaft that we use in the upgraded engine. We have the ARP hardened head bolts. Our proprietary valve train nuts that we use for the roller rocker arms. It fits all on the stock valve train. It makes it really easy to put roller rockers on this motor. You don't have to buy ARP stuff. You just use the stock stuff, use our nuts, use our rocker arms. Here are the heads using our 203 kit. They're the same heads we use in our 202. They have nitrated stainless steel valves, double valve springs, very durable valve train, and it all works together with the 203 cam. The options with this 203 kit is the intake manifolds, and we'll get into that right now. This manifold here is a stock manifold. It comes on the 345, 375, and the 420 horse motors. The biggest problem with this manifold is it's basically equivalent to a two-barrel manifold because that's all the factory required. But when we take this manifold and modify it for truck use, and we want to make more horsepower, we modify the inside of the intake manifold inside here, cut the bottom out, remove a couple panels inside, weld it all back together, and then clean up the ports on the outside and we get an airflow increase of about 80% of what this manifold here is capable of. This manifold here will make 650 horsepower out of 496 with the 206 camshaft that we have. But this manifold works really, really good for trucks because it's still emissions compatible. It has all the hookups for the ETR valve, the charcoal canister, the map sensor, everything it takes to make your truck still be smog legal and be capable of moving enough air to be able to make some good horsepower.